Yeah, he's talked about that a little bit today. He said it happened back in the 90s when he was in high school, but he still feels the effects, still concerned. He says, especially now that he has children, he wants to make sure that not only they, but also everyone else in the city and the surrounding areas are safe. Now, this effort to combat carjackings and vehicle thefts just shifted into high gear as Illinois Secretary of State uh, Alexis Janulius uh, awards over $21 million in grant money to local and state police organizations. Now, six police organizations will share in the funds of the over $21 million in grant money. The Illinois State Police Expressway Safety Enforcement Group will get over $10 million. The Illinois Statewide Auto Theft Task Force will get over $3 million. And the Chicago Police Department's major auto theft investigation unit will get nearly uh, $1.5 million. Now, the grant money comes from the Illinois Vehicle Hijack, uh, Hijacking and Motor Vehicle Theft Prevention and Insurance Verification. Council, long name there. Basically, they're funded by a $1 annual auto insurance policy assessment collected by the Secretary of State. This year, the Illinois General Assembly kicked in an additional $30 million. Now, law enforcement officials say the number of reported carjackings here in Chicago have tripled since 2012, and the national, a national insurance group reports that Chicago saw auto thefts go up over 50% in 2022. Now, as a victim of carjacking, while a senior in high school, the Secretary of State says that there should be resources to combat the surging crimes, and that's very, very important. It was a horrendously scary experience, something that uh, has stayed with me and my friends that were in the vehicle uh, that day. And now having three daughters of my own, the thought of that happening and my kids' lives being at stake is something that scares me. I know it scares a lot of other parents. Now, today's announcement comes as Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul and nearly two dozen other attorneys general called for automakers Kia and Hyundai to take action to remedy that fault in those vehicles that allows cars to be more easily stolen. Now, these funds that were awarded today will be made available for next year as there is another effort, one more effort, in addition to license plate readers and additional cameras trying to make folks the motoring public safe. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.